hello everyone welcome back to my kitchen if this is your first time here you're welcome today i want to share with you this delicious plantain and egg recipe it's a nigerian breakfast and this recipe is really common among nigerians i will show you how to make dodo fried plantain and fried egg come along with me welcome to olayemi channel if you are new you're welcome my name is olayemi back to olayemi cooking today i will be sharing with you this delicious egg and plantain recipe i'll be planting an egg, egg recipe i show, share this free uh, picture of this recipe on my facebook page and a lot of my friends love the recipe i love the picture and the, i was asked to make the video of this recipe so today i'm going to share with you how i make this recipe if you've not subscribed to my channel do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be the first to know every time i upload new video and do not forget to hit the like button on this video it makes so much to me and it makes me want to do more let's go straight in preparing this recipe done we let us waste time talking talking so we are going to peel this plantain and we start frying so i'm going to show you bit by bit step by step on preparing this plantain and some people call it a indian banana that was when i was in uae that's what they call it but it's called plantain that's what we nigerians know it all about and even here in the years it's not as plantain so i have ripe plantain with me here you can as well get the unripe and make it ripe at home but i'm using ripe plantain for this and it's very delicious on its own it's, it really takes nice even without salt or anything on it naturally it's sweet so let's start peeling it and let's start making it so i'm going to cut out the edges some people might say it's not necessary me showing all this but since we are trying to show every step of this recipe we are not going to remove any bit as skip any part of it so that's why i want to show you you put your knife here you can as well use your hand to do this uh as i said my hand is always clean when i want to cook i normally wash my hand so it's very easy when you use it and just put your finger inside and move it around and voila that is all so that's how to remove it nice and perfect so i'm going to cut this you can make it round shape or you can make it slant shape any way you want it but i guess i will be doing the slant shape so i'm going to cut it like this however you can as well use this plantain to make your plantain cheese uh, your fried plantain cheese this this uh, ripe plantain is also good for it or you can use on ripe plantain to make your plantain cheese actually i will share that recipe with you some other time any way you want to make your shape of uh, your fried plantain we call it dodo so uh, you can as well do that but i'm going to make this shape so that is it for the first one then i'm going to do the same thing to the other one too so i'm going to put this in the bowl so this is how it looks so I'm going to step this aside. So I'm going to add a pinch of salt just to give it a taste. Then, as I said earlier, you can as well fry your plantain without adding salt. But actually, my family really likes it adding some salt. But if we have seasoned this, so we start frying it. So I have my frying pan on the cook stove top so i'm going to add cooking oil into this fry pan so our cooking oil is ready so let's start frying So 
So we are going to wait for this autumn is putting brown outside. So that's when we know our planting is ready, our fire planting is ready, or as we normally call it, our adobe is ready. So let's wait for this for you to be ready. Then we'll start doing other things. While waiting for this to be ready, we'll start doing it. Remember to fry your planting in the middle of it so everything will not be uh, black. That's dead point. So since we are targeting brown color in nature so let's wait for it let it get cooked let it get fried and let's start dicing all our fresh ingredients that we are going to use and to the other side this is uh, uh, this is how it looks and this is our uh, is almost ready so i'm going to remove this from the uh, cook uh, oil so i'll put it in a dish or in a bowl So I'm going to remove this. You can as well put a, a kitchen paper towel in your bowl just to save the oil. If you don't like it, too much cooking oil. So you can as well do that. Um, so I'm going to do that thing. What I just put this there. Just to use that to save the cooking oil. To extract the oil from the plantain. However, you want to call it, we normally call it do do fry planting. Fry planting is called do 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 in Nigeria, so that's what we call it. And this uh, fry planting and egg is a perfect recipe for breakfast. Actually, we Nigerians really like it for breakfast. And you can as well eat it any time of the day. You can use it for it for family dinner or family breakfast. It's a perfect recipe for it, and your family is going to love it. So I'm going to fry the others. So we are going to repeat this uh, same procedure for all the planting. If you've not subscribed to my channel, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button on this video. Leave down a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about all I am cooking. So we are done in frying our plantain. So I'm going to add some little amount of cooking oil. One teaspoon of cooking oil. Just little amount. So I'm going to add my diced onions. My diced tomatoes. You can check the description for our ingredients. I'm going to put our ingredients in the description below. Then our habanero pepper, our diced habanero pepper. Actually, this really smells nice. You keep on staying until everything is properly fried to your taste. Actually, I like uh, frying my vegetables so everything will not just uh, uh, crunch in my mouth. But that taste of a uh, Freshness will be there. So, I'm going to add some seasoning into this. So, I'm going to add some seasoning. Time leaf. Black pepper, then pinch of salt to stay 
the taste. Then I'll give it a nice taste. So it's time for us to add our egg, our minced egg. So it's time for us to add our minced egg. I'm going to stir this, give it a nice stir because I want the our fried vegetable to mix with the egg. So it will not be as if the vegetable will be somewhere else and the egg will be somewhere else. So I'm going to give it a nice stir. Then we are going to wait for this to fry. So I just give it a stir. So this is the outcome. It's just like a scrambled egg, but with vegetables. So it's a little bit different from scrambled egg. So, so our egg is ready. It's time for us to dish it in the plate. I'm going to put up the heat. So let's dish. So this is our fried plant. You can see how it looks. So we are going to put it in our in the dish so don't let me waste your time let me just put it in the dish so this is the outcome after i dish it in the plate so i'm going to add my egg on top of it you can as well put this in your side a uh, bowl but i'm going to add everything to it that makes it very easy and tasty together the combination is <laughs> Tasty, I don't know how to express how delicious it looks when you combine it together. So I'm going to start adding my uh, my fried egg into my fried plantain. So as I said, it's very delicious when you combine it together than putting it on a separate dish. But it's really delicious and everything blends together when you eat this. And the taste uh, sink with the fried plantain thanks so much for watching my video please do not forget to subscribe share my video with your lovers and your friends and do not forget to give us a thumbs up and leave down your comments in the comment section i'll put other video in the link in the description below do not forget to check that out and as i said this is a perfect breakfast recipe do not forget to share our recipe with your lovers and your friends thanks so much for watching my video i guess i'll see you all in my next recipe